actually, yeah, it's not as congested over on the side. And that's the neighbor Ronnie here. He's going to. Ronnie. Helping us out. The owner's uh, over in Atlanta. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. And he's very motivated. So. I believe um, it was built in the early 40s and I believe this was the original house right here and then it started adding on interesting so uh, the lot goes all the way back it's a deep lot almost an acre uh, it's all overgrown but I think it stretches to the other side of the block Wow. basically where that white light pole is all the way back there This would be a good student housing rental, man. And that's why he was doing it. He was actually renting it out to some students. Uh, he was just ready to cash out of the deal and kind of move on. That's what's up. So, yeah, matter of fact, the last tenants were college students. So that's why, you know, you got the current. He said the bar was set up right there. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. They go in, huh? Yep. I was like, man, if I had a house like this back in college, I would have been acting a fool too. Been like king, huh? Right. Five, what, like five, six hundred bucks a month each? Yeah, I'll close this up. What are you pulling as far as the, the ARV on this one, based on comps? ARV puts it in a range between two fifty to two seventy. Damn. And that will be in pristine condition. And you're looking at there is a house that just sold. I say three months ago, down around the corner for 280. Another one sold for 320. I should have a CMA up here I can share with you. Yeah, let's check it. Right on the edge, dude. Right behind five points, huh? Yep. So good walking distance for all that. We already pulled the CMA, so I'm about to pull this over to you. Uh, what's the best email for me to send it to you? Send it to Ben at cashpropertyoffers.com Glitter on the ceiling. Interesting. Right? So that's everywhere. Huh. This little area is the only place where it seems like it gets a little wonky, huh? This uh, thing? Let's go upstairs first before you speak on that. But yeah, like kind of, it, it has like this kind of sauce kind of dips on huh? it. You just feel it. Yep. It's like, I, I think you could be passionate to be fine. You know, it's, I don't yeah. I don't see it being an issue where the house is going to fall. No, over for sure. Way. I mean, obviously, if you're going to flip it and inspection all that, you build a pier or something under it. Right. But, So, uh, yeah, I guess we could have walked through downstairs a little more. There's a dining room down there that they converted to a bedroom. This is the master. And uh, so when the parents got older, they kind of converted her bedroom to downstairs. So it was their mother's house, and then once she passed away, they rented it for a season? Uh, yeah, well, she died, what was that, three years? Or, yeah, three years ago. And so, yeah, he rented it out for a little bit. He's over in Atlanta, not really managing it well. Yeah. So, tired landlord. <laughs> That's 
It's golden. It's golden. And the first. Oh, thick carpet, dude. They used to make this carpet thick back in the days, huh? It's that pad under there. And I'm wondering if there's wood floors under here. Wouldn't doubt it. But yeah, so the family built this in the 40s and the family just had it up until, you know, now. So it went through two, three generations. He's the last wow. one. So the historic thing, is that a big issue with renovations? I mean. On the outside, right? Yeah, you just got to, I mean, you got to have a licensed contractor for sure. No specialty fly-by-nights, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't touch it. <laughs> so. Yeah, bro. But. Yeah, so, I like it. Oh, we haven't seen that huge bathroom in the back, which is a really interesting flow up here, so right? This almost could. Yeah, this is like a sitting room, or it could be another room. Could be a small room, huh? Yeah, you should be able to fit a twin in there. And college kid that pays fifty hundred bucks less than everyone else gets a small room, <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, because yeah, it has a closet, so yeah, it's a room. So that's one, two, three. They have the dining room they converted. You to got one. central going throughout. Um, I, I think right. so, yeah. Yeah, because the registers are, yeah. 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 Right here? Yeah, I mean, this is that area right over the kitchen when we're looking up at the little box type edition. And I think this is where, of course, this is going to throw off all the retail buyers. Mm-hmm. So I pulled up the CMA here. I think I had I told them two sixty if it was pristine. I'm talking about brand new hardwood floors, UV. You know all the windows were placed, everything tightened up. So he's trying to walk away. He said two hundred is his pain point, and I think from the public records he has around fifty six thousand on the mortgage. So I think he took out a mortgage. What was that two years ago? Believe for about a hundred thousand, he's down to like fifty. So that's kind of the numbers on it there. He wants he wants two hundred for it. Yeah, they had it listed for two seventy five, dropped it to two sixty five. Yeah, because I remember going after this listing back in October, and I was even thinking two fifteen back then, but without even seeing the inside. And now you look at the inside. I mean, one eighty is would be nice. <laughs> right, that's a lot of freaking house, bro. Yeah, I mean, you figure. It's a lot, bro. I want to hear your number because I was somewhere around like 60. 60K? <laughs> yeah, like, and that's without knowing what's going on. I mean, I think 100, 110. Yeah, yeah, because I thought the 60 was on the low side. Yeah, I'd buy it today for 100. For 100. And, and that's, uh, Pretty much what's going on on the street is right across the street that uh, brick one went for 105, three really? bedroom, three bath, completely renovated. So you just shoot them an offer. Yeah. I mean, and you could just kind of let them know the feedback you're getting. Hey, man, I know that this is what you're shooting for. Brought a few investors by to check it out, and this this guy came in higher than anyone else. <laughs> Yeah, and I think we've already talked to all the numbers. He's had a few guys. Matter of fact, there's a folder down there in the in the kitchen, and I think that he's tried to do wholesaling before, and uh, the people that he was with couldn't perform. Really? Yeah. Because yeah, matter of fact, the guy that I called for the listing was not the actual owner of record. It was the wholesaler. Really? Yep. So. And he straight put it on the market too, or listed it? Maybe? Uh, no, he had it on Craigslist. That's how I got his number. So that was early October, right when I got licensed. So around the tenth, he went on the market around the end of October with one of those uh, transaction only brokerages mm -hmm. where they put it on the MLS call him. And the, yeah, they had it listed at two seventy five, dropped to two sixty five, <sighs> tripping, expired. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, "There's no way you're gonna get that, man." Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I told him that hundred dollar number or that hundred thousand. And of course, if you put up a hundred, I mean, you would like to get back a hundred, at least. <laughs> I mean, you're looking at a, you're looking at a, eighty to hundred thousand dollar rehab, it, easy here. Right. Easy, and that's not even addressing this. Right. It's
it's like I don't even know what to do with that. I mean, I, I, I guess I you kind of feel like it to two bathrooms. I honestly feel like you kind of got to eat it. You know what I mean? Like, this would pro- this would be better suitable as a rental. Yeah. All day, man, because you're that close to five points, bro. Yeah. Rent out per room or something. Get a bunch of college kids, man. Just put new new paint, new flooring throughout. Maybe rip out these vanities. You know, just right. something. Could just get a take this off and lay a granite slab with the sinks cut out. That'd be perfect for I mean, the shots, you know what I mean? <laughs> right. <laughs> During the party, just come back here with the whole that going, you know, junk back here or whatever. This person will be living large, huh? Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I feel like it really is a college rental. Uh, and so you're saying that you'd be willing to write him for what, 100? Let's write it up. Let's write it. I mean, all I can do is offer it to him and let's tell shoot, him what let's it shoot is. Let's shoot him 105. Okay. Let's see what it says. Mm-hmm. Cool, let's, I'll write it up. Hell yeah. Cool. I'm winning. <laughs> and, uh, oh, yeah, you're show me the dining room? Yeah, let's do that. So, yeah, front, formal living room here. I'm not sure about the fireplace. That crack right there is the sun. Where is that? Uh, the right door. here. I mean, there's obviously some foundation stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. So I told him I'll have to call the other canties for that. You know? I know your house. The other canties will fix the foundation. Mm-hmm. Here's that glitter. But so here's the bedroom they, or the dining room that was switched over to a bedroom. Interesting. So, yeah, you know, she got older. I think she died in her late 90s, I believe. So... Paul died and she went a few months after that. A bathroom down here. A wallpaper would be fun to mess with, man. I hate this stuff. Yeah. We painted ours, but uh, it's starting to come back on us. Yeah. So it's starting to peel up and everything, so I'm going to strip it all and repaint it. Muddy, huh? Skin color. Yeah. Yeah, let's write this up. Cool. Yeah. I'll write it up, let you know what he gets. Um, no, what he has to say. Cool. Yeah, he was talking to these guys. I, have you heard of them? So oh, like, yeah. Yeah. They're older, bro. Because he said, so the thing with the wholesalers he worked with before, and that's what got them agitated, is they took three months. They had them in a the contract for three months. What? And then came through and said they couldn't get financed. That's ridiculous. Yeah. I doubt it was these people, bro. No, nah, I they're, think those are the next guys to come through and say They're a little more vetted. I wonder what they offered him. Yeah. He, like, he still hasn't told me. I feel like they probably came in and read about where we're at with this one. But maybe you can talk to him and get us the end. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I already talked it up and I told him I'd get you over here. And I know you, you've been doing business around here so long. If anybody's going to do it, you already got to do it. So That's what's up, bro. So let's get it done, man. Oh, appreciate All you, right, man. for sure, man. <laughs> We don't even know what to do right now, you know, with COVID and everything. It's like, are we still adapting? Bro, I, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm not I'm not a germaphobe by any means. Oh, man, it's a, so my wife wanted me to take this. I was like, no. <laughs> oh, man. Have you in the weeds for a good month, couple months, huh? Yeah, the kids would have fun. to grow up out of this thing. You know, as far as the equity I put into it. Yeah, it's an interesting flow, man. If we could, it'd be nice to open it up a little bit. Right. I mean, I'm sure that arch was the thing back then because we used to see that arch with the little message window on the side. Yeah. You know, the, the, the rotary phone used to be right there for yeah. most places. They put the desk right there. Yep. It's like my grandma's house in Atlanta. <laughs> Heck yeah. You got the park right there, man. All right. And uh, those were high-end condos when they were first built. Back in what the 50s, that was with city or federal funds, and now that's in elderly assisted living uh, facilities. 